the name Broly's back in the minds of the fandom this month because Team Four Stars dropping their big uh, Broly uh, Dragon, Dragon Ball Z abridged, and of course, not comparing myself to them, but I do have the history of Broly video coming up very soon here on Geekdom 101. So we're, we're seeing a lot of Broly videos pop up, and our buddy Quam Man did a video called, you know, the reasons why Broly is so popular, and I want to do kind of a response video to that. Uh, I went ahead and left the link to Quam Man's video in the description so you guys can go watch it. So, I want to have a discussion, not just with my guest here, who I'm going to introduce in a moment, but with you guys in the comments. I definitely want to hear your thoughts. Um, I did a video about this way back, but now we can actually have more of a discussion. Why is Broly such a popular character? Why does he have so many freaking fans? Why does he keep getting brought back over and over again in every video game release that gets put out for Dragon Ball, even though we haven't seen him in the anime in, you know, decades. Joining me to discuss this topic, please welcome the leader of the Super Sandwich Army, a man who knows a lot about video games, Rhyme Style. The question is, is what the hell is a Super Sandwich? You're, you, hey, you created I, it, you're going to have to I, answer it. I, I can't even answer that, to be honest. But you're, today's topic is Broly, so let's talk about Broly. You're like Toriyama, bro. You just make shit up, and then like somebody asks you about it, and you're just, like, oh, I don't remember. Just go with it. <laughs> just go with it. One day, you're going to an interview, you're going to be like, oh, a super sandwich. Well, one day, when I was younger, I put salami, and it's going to be all made up, just like Toriyama. So let's talk about Broly. <laughs> all right, okay. now, you've been playing. Obviously, you're known for Xenoverse. You've been playing a lot of fusions lately. Um, every Dragon Ball game that comes out, Broly is featured. He was in Extreme Butoh, we actually even saw SS4 Broly. He keeps getting brought back in games. The fandom just absolutely loves Broly to the point where they sometimes make up stuff to, that isn't true. Why do you think Broly, of all the movie villains, what makes him stand out as being so popular? Is it because he's in three movies? Is it because he's a, the, a Super Saiyan? Is it because he's buff? Or is it everything combined? What do you think? I, I have that answer right now, and I can probably break it down with science. So, uh -oh. when when we science. saw first Super Saiyan, which is obviously Goku, uh, unless you watched ahead and just didn't watch in order, whatever, uh, Goku was the first Super Saiyan most of us were exposed to. Then Vegeta happened, and he went Super Saiyan, and seeing that the first time was incredible. But now you introduce in a movie Broly, who apparently is the legendary Super Saiyan that made Goku and Vegeta at the time look like jokes and be so powerful and crazy. That's what was like a shocker to a lot of people. It's like, oh my gosh, this whole time I thought Goku and Vegeta like the best Super Saiyans out there. And then here comes freaking, you know, Broly, who's just basically making these guys look like it's nothing. Pure power, just tossing them around like rag dolls. That was like the first introduction to the Broly fandom. But what I think really propelled to the next level was due to the fact that they kept bringing him back, as you said. Like, this man was so powerful and badass, he kept coming back, coming back, coming back, coming back even to the point where he was, like, literally a a thing of sludge or whatever. Swamp thing. Yeah, swamp monster. Super okay. super swamp saying, I don't know. Uh, and that, I think, is what contributed to the Broly fandom. Now, it's funny because one of my favorite villains of all time is Janimba. But if you think about it, Janimba's actually... Janimba. He's actually kind of a stupid story. I mean... He is cool because he's made up of all the evil of all the people, and I think that's kind of a cool backstory for him. But when you think about it, Janemba barely speaks and does anything. He just kind of shows up. He ragdolls Goku around. He gets destroyed in a really badass way. Yeah, but Broly Vegeta. just screams out one word, though. Yeah, but at least he screams. <laughs> Name one, Give me one Janemba comment. Well, he does scream. Uh, when he powers up against Gogeta. So, I mean, there is That's that. <laughs> but why do I like Janimba so much? Well, to answer that question is because I love his design. I thought yeah. it was cool when he started using the sword. He was, yep. you know, tossing Goku all around. If Janimba was ever brought back in a future movie, I would be really, really excited. Now, that same factor is what happened with Broly. It's like he introduces this badass Saiyan who just basically makes Goku and the squad look like nothing. They keep bringing them back, like creating a fan even, even more. Like, if there were several movies for Janimba, I guarantee you there's, there will be a much larger fan base for Janimba as well. I mean, people like Cooler because Cooler kept come back as well. On top of that, he's, you know, he's Frieza's brother. He has a really cool design when he transforms. Like, I think it's just the fact that they kept bringing him back. He was a badass, super bulky, powerful. He was just kind of ragdolling everywhere. Around. And I think that was like the big start of the Broly fandom. Well, that's, that was actually my point about him being big and bulky because, you know, I, I don't know about you, but I saw Avengers – the night it came out. I saw it opening night, and the one scene that everybody kept bringing up was the scene where the Hulk takes Loki and spins him around and says, puny God. Do you, yeah. right? And Okay, do you it's remember that? That, so that, do you, exact, yeah, that yeah. exact same thing. So you think that a big part of it is that he's just really overly muscular and that even though 
you know, we're in a different era now than the 80s. Because remember, the 80s, every movie we had was big, muscular. Arnold was the king. Do you yep. think even though we're past, like, the, the big era of Arnold and, and Stallone, do you think that there's still that consciousness, that subconscious desire for a big, muscular guy beating people up? Like, do you think that yeah, that's... Yeah, I think there is. It? Yeah. I mean, look at look at Trunks. When Trunks ascended against Cell, and he was just... I mean, he was slow, but he was like still beating Trunks, or not, or not Trunks. He was being Cell's ass in a way, kind of. He just was lacking the speed. That that was badass. Yeah, and, and Broly like, was based love, on that. People love the ascent of Trunks' form because he's like bulky, powerful. I mean, again, he's, he lacks speed. He had no eyes, weakness, but he was he was still cool. He had no eyes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the thing the thing about Broly is is there's nothing really wrong with his character. I think honestly, the big reason why there is also negativity to Broly is because of the fan base behind it that makes him look like it's more powerful than he actually is. I mean, if you have to deal with, oh, can Broly be Beerus? I think Broly can be Beerus. Broly is better than Beerus on a daily basis. It's so easy to be like, you know what? Screw Broly. I'm tired of his face, man. Broly, Broly, so like, Broly can't even I, beat a Raleigh, bro. <laughs> I, that's funny, actually, partially true. Uh, what's funny <laughs> about that is, is I think because of how popular Broly is, the negativity behind him is also because of that same reason. So the fan base puts him on a pedestal, but at the same time they put him on a pedestal so much that people just end up disliking him because it's kind of overhyped. But then again, anything that's talked about so much can be overhyped. In the same situation, if yeah. Janimba would have received three movies where he just kept coming back, beating people up, he would have been like the the go-to character uh, for you know. As far as like fan bases, but at the same time, this is also the first time we saw an evil. Not first time, because no one really likes Turles except for like ten people in the world. Yeah. This is like the first time we saw a <laughs> badass Saiyan as a evil guy. Because like thing is, is Laura still doesn't we... even like him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. The <laughs> Xenomorph two joke. Uh, the thing about Broly is we always wanted a a antagonist from the Saiyan side that was actually doing something. Yeah, because Vegeta's and... popular too. It's the same thing, right? Yeah, Vegeta's too, but he became a good guy. Whereas Turles just kind of showed up and he got defeated a lot faster. I guarantee you, if Turles had a Super Saiyan transformation in his movie, he would be the basically the Broly of today. I mean. Turles is the original Goku Black, to be honest. Let's be yep. real here. Yes. But if yes. if Turles would have seen received the same um same backstory that Broly did, where he was like a Super Saiyan, like a legendary evil Saiyan, whatever, I feel like he would have been more popular than Broly is. But just because of how Broly is presented, of you know being this legendary Super Saiyan, super bulky, ragdolling everybody around, that's why he's so popular today. Yeah, but it's funny because I've made this point before. He's not the first movie villain to do that. Every movie villain has that scene in their movie where they shine. <laughs> like, yes. cooler fucking Goku up. Um, you know, dude, Super Android 13, that's the funny thing about it, right? Broly's a big buff guy with spiky hair. Super He's Android 13, yeah. He is, and dude, Android 13 was doing the backbreaker. He fucking hit Goku in the nuts. Like, nobody... But he wasn't a Super Saiyan. Yeah, I, but he looked like one. He had the orange spiky hair. It's they like, literally are the same character design. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and people, right? And people let, just love. Okay, so that's, that's, that's bring me to my last question here. What do you think about Broly's backstory? Do you think that the concept of him it's being stupid. outcast? Okay, well, not. I'm the, sorry. It's it's okay. dumb. I, In your the, opinion. Yeah. One of the main, yeah, my opinion. My opinion, key phrase, my opinion. The main reason why I prefer, personally never really liked Broly's stories because I thought it was stupid. It's like. Okay, he's mad at Goku because he was crying and like. Well, dude, I don't mean that. I mean the, the the fact that him and his father were banished from Planet Vegeta. I like that. I do like, I like that. that. He should have had more of a beef with Vegeta than he should have with Goku. I think. Exactly. That that's my problem with it. Had they would have done a story like that, Broly's character would be written so much better. But the fact that like they take the idea of this Saiyan outcast who wants to get revenge on all Saiyans, which is fucking awesome by the way, and instead of replacing with oh he's actually mad at Goku because he was crying. That's what always yeah. kind of like yeah. tickle my balls the wrong way. It's like for real, like what you they, guys just ruined it. It could have been so much better. What but they should have, what they should have done, I think, is actually shown how much power Broly really has, and uh -huh. let everybody know, like, okay, had you not fucked up and killed Broly or attempted to kill him and his father, he might have saved you from Frieza. Now it seems a little bit illogical that a baby could save a. You know, a planet from Frieza, but again, it's a little, it, it, it's Dragon Ball. It doesn't make any sense. We saw Pan flying in space, so it doesn't matter. So they could have <laughs> had something to where, you know, the idea could have been like, okay, Frieza blew up, you know, killed the whole, the whole civilization. But had Broly actually been cultivated and trained, maybe that wouldn't have happened. But of course, he Frieza blew up the planet that same day, so there wouldn't have been enough time, anyways. Yep. You know. So okay, uh, that's pretty much it. I want to hear everybody's thoughts in the comments. Why is Broly so popular? Why do people always, you know, obviously Bandai Namco knows that he's popular because they keep bringing him back. We've got Karoli and Dragon he's Ball. He's always Fusions. a go-to character too. Always. always. I think in battle, and he's, he's always like overpowered the only... in the games. Yeah, yeah. 
Dude, well, also, uh, what yeah. I do want to say is, is please respect each other too, because it's Broly videos can get so heated at times because Broly fans they they defend Broly, but at the same time, people who don't like Broly will bash it. Just respect each other. Everyone has their own opinion. In fact, if Broly isn't your favorite villain from the movie section or from the movie side of Dragon Ball Z, who is? Feel free to share that down below as well. But for I most part, like try to respect each other and just have fun here. We're all Dragon Ball fans. There's no reason why we should get mad at each other just because our favorite villain isn't Broly or vice versa or whatever. Yeah, so and, I, and, I, toss it out there. and I do agree with you. Janemba is also my favorite movie villain. I think Garn might have the coolest backstory with that whole, like, ancient yeah. South, right? Like, that's a cool mm-hmm. backstory with Tapion uh, or Tapion if you watch the dub. I like how the dub, is, it's just it's, it's funny to me. You have Aureli, Tapion, and Saiyan, and it's supposed to be, like, Saiyan, Arale, and Tapion. It's like they take the A's and make them A and not ah, it's just it's it, you know, it's just funny to me how it's a constant <laughs> thing. But anyways, everybody check out Rhyme Style. You should already know who he is by now. I highly doubt that nobody knows who you are, but just in case, it's always good to check out his channel. Um, content every single day you upload every day. I I do Pokemon videos in case you guys didn't know. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, you're gonna you some people are gonna really think that's all you do. I did, dude. I have like at the time I was recording this video. I literally have 10 Pokemon pack openings scheduled. There's Dragon Ball stuff there too, okay? <laughs> I just want to make sure everybody knows. I got knows. addicted to doing Pokemon pack openings. It's so much fun. Yeah, you're because you're going through a midlife crisis where you could you wanted to do it when you were younger, but you were broke, just like me. Exactly. Yeah, it happens yep. to everybody. Those of you out there who like want to buy these video games, and like I know a lot of you guys out there are like, man, I really wish I had money. Then you grow up and you get a job and you make money, then you buy the game. Man, this sucks. This game sucked. That's what happened. Like you grow up and you realize that when you actually have it, you're enjoying yourself, but then you're like, eh, whatever. I'm older now. But <laughs> everybody, check out Rhyme Style and let us know. Of course, like I said, um, and like I said. Another plug, Christmas Day, History of Broly, Dragon Ball in Death on this channel. Definitely make sure you're here on, oh, not Christmas Day, I'm sorry, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, that video's dropping. Learn everything you want to know about Broly. I'll catch you down the road. Get